بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمن ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی ہیو بین گوئنگ تھرو ویریس چیپٹرز اینڈ وی ہیو آلسو بین لوکنگ ایٹ دی ڈفرنٹ ایتھیکل ماڈلس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی امبارکنگ اپون اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ایسپیکٹ آف ایتھکس اینڈ دیٹ از ایتھیکل لیڈرشپ دا فرسٹ ٹاپک از دی امپارٹنس آف ایتھیکل لیڈرشپ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ لیڈرشپ دین وی سی دیٹ دیر آر ملینس آف ڈیفینیشنس پرٹیننگ ٹو لیڈرشپ it is a matter of interpretation it is a matter of circumstance it is situational uh, it would vary from institution to institution country to country and also uh, different regions of the world however there are certain common factors and when we talk about leadership ethical leadership then we are basically looking at a common definition of ethical leadership whereby uh, leadership is a process Uh, in which an individual influences a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. So what we see is that there is a process, there is an individual who influences uh, as a leader, and then there are a group of followers who are all attuned and calibrated towards a common goal. So that is a common definition uh, of ethical leadership. The formal following components are central to this definition. Like I was mentioning, There's a process, there is influence, there's a group of followers, and there is a common goal or objective. So these are extremely important. And again, they must be done in the ethical context. No unethical steps should be taken. Uh, no uh, compromises uh, should be undertaken. Uh, it should not be unscrupulous. And therefore, uh, the ethical leadership is a step beyond uh, normal leadership because the leader is doing the right because It is the right. And one uh, very good example of ethical leadership in the modern 20th century is that of Nelson Mandela. And if we look at a global model of ethical leadership, then there can be no better leader than our great prophet, peace be upon him, Hazu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who basically led through example, led through righteousness, followed the, uh, the philosophy of truth, practiced uh, being a sadiq and a mean, and most importantly was the very pinnacle of truth honesty and integrity so that is also uh, ethical leadership and we will also talk about how our great prophet peace be upon him huzur sallallahu alaihi wasallam not only influenced people of his time but will continue to influence mankind till the end of days uh, when we talk about ethical leadership then one can simultaneously be a leader in one context and a follower in another leadership can be formal such as in the case of an elected prime minister or a company ceo so again uh, leadership can be formal it can be informal and most importantly wherever there is leader there are also followers and this sets uh, the very context of what leadership is informal leadership as well uh, is not related with any authority uh, and i will be sharing with you the youtube video of sadiq mamu from rawal pindi now this gentleman is a very unique gentleman uh, he basically due to uh, some genetical issues uh, does not have both legs and does not have both arms and he uh, unfortunately is going uh, through uh, this process uh, in which uh, his arms and his legs uh, have to be uh, cut every year and uh, besides uh, having such a tumultuous uh, physical challenge and going through so much of agony yet Uh, the video uh, will tend to exemplify that uh, he is so upbeat, uh, he is so excited about what he does. He has this small shop uh, just behind Linda Market uh, in Rawal Pindi, and that shop is the very center and focal point of the whole community. Uh, people uh, come over there to listen to him, kids come over there and play around with him, and uh, he, at any one given time, will have 20 to 40 people uh, around his shop who are all uh, all listening to him uh, to his words of wisdom to his guidance to his counseling and they all look up to him uh, as a leader so even though he is uh, such drastically physically challenged but due to his ethical conduct and due to his energy and due to his enthusiasm due to his positivity due to his constructive approach towards life he uh, is uh, basically acknowledged as a leader and is greatly respected in his own community Uh, leaders can be associated with the world of politics 
بزنس پاپولر کلچر اور اینی ادر ایریا آف لائف اینڈ دیر فور دیر از نو ون ٹائپ آف لیڈرشپ دیر کین بی ملٹیپل ٹائپ آف لیڈرشپ وتھ ڈفرنٹ ایریاز آف فوکس دے فوکس بوتھ آن دا مینس تھرو وچ لیڈرز اٹیمپ ٹو اچیو گولز ایز ویل ایز آن دی اینڈز آف دا ہیلتھ سو دی مینس ٹو دی اینڈ از ویری امپارٹنٹ دی اینڈ از امپارٹنٹ دیٹ وٹ ڈو وی وانٹ ٹو فائنلی اچیو بٹ دا مینس دا پروسیس اٹ از ویری امپارٹنٹ دیٹ ٹو اچیو اے پرٹیکولر اینڈ وی شوڈ ناٹ بی کمپرومائزنگ آن آر پروسیس آن دا مینس ٹو اچیو دیٹ پرٹیکولر اینڈ اینڈ دیٹ از دا ویری ایسنس آف ایتھیکل لیڈرشپ ایتھیکل لیڈرشپ کانسیپٹس انوالو سیٹنگ اینڈ پرسوئنگ ایتھیکل گولز doing others in an ethical manner ethical leadership as the process of influencing the activities of a group uh, toward goal achievement in a socially responsible way so again ladies and gentlemen when we talk about ethical leadership we talk about positive constructive proactive uh, empathetic leadership uh, it is the leadership in which the lower leader plays a role model uh, and the community or the institution or in society and then through his or her actions tends to magnetize people around themselves and evolve as a leader uh, whereby they can uh, basically catalyze uh, progressive change and that is extremely important and uh, ethical leadership is important in the corporate context and the public context and also in the social context so ladies and gentlemen when we are looking at this whole uh, ethical context then it becomes very important that we understand that the means or the process is as important as the ends itself and one cannot compromise and one cannot have shortcuts and one cannot try to pull a fast one but one has to do the right because it is the right and that is ethical leadership thank you so much